welcome to my channel and also welcome to your January 2021 reading. So this is for the month of January. I'm going to um, start off with four oracle cards and then we will go into the tarot to go ahead and clarify the message. I have pre-shuffled all the cards. So we'll just do one final shuffle before I lay them out. Okay, so you start off with the fire ant energy and then not for you. Your energy card is the thinking man. And your final oracle card is Awakening Genius. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the fire ant energy. Um, the fire ant energy sometimes indicates that there is something that you are festering about, that you know, you're upset about something that maybe didn't come into fruition like you wanted it to. Whether it's a relationship, a career path, um, you know, a new job, a house that you were looking at, something didn't come to come out and pan out the way that you wanted it to. And you're kind of festering with that, right? You're kind of like just, you know, spinning around and around and just like, you know, gnawing on it. You're just not moving on from it. And what Spirit wants you to know is that sometimes we don't get exactly what we want, but it's it's kind of like their protection for us. It means that it really wasn't meant for you. Um, and, you know, I always think that if something you don't get what you want, it usually means that you're going to get something better. And so to go ahead and stop festering, because very shortly you're going to have someone new coming into your life. That's going to be a teacher, um, most likely a male. And it does not have to be a romantic connection, although it can be. But someone's going to come in and um, be on your path to teach you something new. Something about, you know, that's going to help you go into a new direction. Because you've obviously had to leave something behind here that really just wasn't for you, even though you thought it was. And this new person that comes in is going to awaken some new knowledge or creative project within you. It's going to be an exciting new time for you. So what Spirit is kind of indicating here is stop festering over what you've lost and start looking forward to what is coming in. And one thing I always remember is that, you know, we can't have new things come into our lives until we're willing to release the old. And so perhaps it's time to kind of just recognize that right now you might not know exactly why that wasn't meant for you, but not to worry about it because you have some great things coming your way. It's a very, this card indicates that not only is it gonna be prosperous, um, but it's also going to have a lot of um, excitement to it. A lot of adventure, a lot of new learning coming your way. So let's see what the tarot has. I'm doing a five card spread today. So the first card will indicate your past energy, the second card your present energy, the third card your obstacle, the fourth card is your advice from spirit, and the fifth card is the outcome if you were to take the advice from spirit. And remember, you always have a free will so you can do what you'd like. So let's see what your past energy is. Okay, so we have the love card, the sun card, the two of water, which is like the two of cups, two of earth, which is like the two of pentacles, and then the justice card. All right, on the bottom we have the emperor and the judgment call and the king of air. Okay, so this, um, 
actually with those cards, this could be, um, it could be a business dealing, but it also could definitely be a love situation. Um, perhaps someone in your life has kind of, you know, gone a, in a different direction or something, and you could be feeling some of that pain. So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers on these. So for the love card, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Sun card. Oh, wow, you have the Ten of Pentacles. That's lovely energy. The Two of Water, you have the Seven of Wands. The Two of Earth, you have the Five of Swords. And for the Justice card, you have the Seven of Cups. And on the bottom of this, you have the Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. Yeah, so this does look like it might be a love situation. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start with the cards in your past position. So you have the Lover's card and then you have the Eight of Pentacles. So this could be um, a relationship that you put a lot of time and effort into. Um, something that you really thought that you really wanted, that was meant for you. Um, you obviously spent a lot of energy on it. And so this situation, um, especially with the Three of Swords um, in the past and everything, um, I think, you know, that situation may be over. And what Spirit is trying to remind you is that that situation really wasn't for you. The interesting thing is that right now you are in a lot of abundance. Um, so maybe you've taken the energy from this situation and put it into your work. Because with Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card, you are just really abundant. You may have taken like I said, all of your energy and put it into, you know, a creative project or your work. You're just kind of like, okay, I don't think love's for me. So I'm going to go and put all of my energy into work. And it obviously perhaps is working for you. But the obstacle is, is that you kind of put love to the side. You put all of your energy into work. But you're still wanting this two of cups. You still want love. Um, and, you know, with the seven of wands, you still have a passion for love. But maybe what you're thinking is, well, it's love is just not for me. You know, like I've been hurt in the past. There, you know, there's been situations that have been very painful. And I think I'm just going to move on from that. But down deep inside, you still want love. And so what Spirit it was kind of saying is that with the two of earth is that, you know, you're kind of going back and forth and you're kind of like stuck in your head about it, right? With the five of swords, you kind of like have all this pain, but maybe you're not quite dealing with it um, to go ahead and to release that pain, to realize that that situation wasn't for you and that there are some other options coming your way. Um, and I think with the two of, you know, pentacles, two of earth, that it's also saying that you don't have to think I can only have love or work, that there is some type of balance that you can have between the two of them. And right now you may be thinking, oh, I have to put love to the side because I only have the energy for work. I don't have the energy for both. Or I want to put love on the back burner because I've been burned in the back, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and just concentrate on my work. And the advice from Spirit is to just realize that just because one relationship didn't work out doesn't mean that all love relationships won't work out. It's just that that one wasn't for you. And maybe you had a very painful ending to it and you're having a hard time kind of coming out of this festering, um, you know, kind of five of swords feeling this, this very, um, you know, hard and burden type of feeling. 
and that it's time to kind of put that to the side. You don't have to just go, you know, jump from being in love to just only working. Like that there is a balance that you can have because in the end, what um, is coming through is justice. It's, it's kind of having, you know, justice for whatever has happened to you in the past, but also that balancing between love and work, love and career. And with the Seven of Cups, you're going to have so many options. You're kind of, you know what, if you're resonating with this, you could be thinking that was the only love I could ever have. And what Spirit is saying is that, no, there's some other options out there for you. So not to give up, to have this more of this balance. Um, it's great that you're in this energy of a, a lots of abundance, right? Of material things. But what Spirit is saying is it may be time to go ahead in this new year and to start thinking about some new love in your life, right? Just kind of opening yourself up to the idea, awakening that genius inside of you that yes, that there can be both love and work in your life. Okay, we're going to do one um, final message from the angels. So let's see what they have for you. Okay, miracle. All right, let's see. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, let not hope slip away, away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all of your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. That's a beautiful um, you know, card to have here at the end because I think that's what Spirit's trying to tell you is that, you know, to kind of try to move beyond whatever happened in the past and look forward to the future because you do have some miracles that are about to manifest and you're going to awaken to maybe a new belief system around love or, you know, if this has to do with work, um, you're creating, you know, your creative projects or something like that. But it definitely seems like whatever has happened in the past in love is going to heal as long as you're willing to let it go and realize, you know, it just really wasn't for me. I don't know what's in the future yet, but it wasn't for me because you do. You have a lot of balance and a lot of options coming your way. Oh, it's beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed it, Leo. And if you did enjoy it or resonate with this reading, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. And I wish you lots of love and light in the new year. Happy New Year!